Hi, I'm Tim Curry. Welcome on board Borkham Riff. She's a 50 metre schooner built in 2002 by Royal Hoistman. She has a draft of 4.5 metres and a beam of 9.5. Let me show you around. Borkham Riff 4 has been a, a part of a series of vessels, this being the uh, fourth for the family, still under the same ownership. She's constructed of aluminium. We have a, over a thousand horses to push her along at a cruising, a very comfortable cruising speed of 10 knots and 13 if we need. Borkham Riff 4, being a schooner rig, carries an array of sails six sails at any one time of flying uh, with the possibility of additional sails after that. The standard sails being the outer, the inner and the staysail, the foresail, the topsail and the mainsail. They're the day-to-day -day sails that we use anytime we're leaving port to get to our next destination. Let me explain to you how we handle some of these sails. Here around the foremast we've got a battery of winches, all hydraulically run, uh, variable speed and both directions. This is for ease of sail handling, uh, getting the gaff up, getting the, uh, the topsail up and uh, keeping it safe at all times. Moving aft along the deck we have this beautiful pilot boat. Built by Wallstead in 2000, she's, she's a replica of the New York Yacht Club's Commodore's pilot vessel. We use it to ferry the guests ashore. We have davits that are retractable, they lift up, she swings out traditionally, I lower over the side, bring her around to the side boarding ladder and uh, get our guests ashore in comfort and certainly style. In the pilot house, we have the necessary navigation equipment to get us safely from A to B including the autopilot, chart plotters, radars, the PLC system, everything else we need for a safe passage underway. Moving from the spacious cockpit into the comfortable deck house here, when the weather turns adverse, we're surrounded by the, the large uh, scenic windows and the, the craftsmanship that's second to none. The deck house here, uh, displays our cannons that we use at sunset for the, when the owner's aboard. And then here we have the dining table set up for any affair required. Please follow me and I'll show you the lower saloon. This is the lower saloon of Borkham Roof. Uh, as you can see, a vast expanse, very comfortable, uh, clad in leather and uh, sheer elegance. The craftsmanship down here is second to none. Utilising the interior naval architect with these three designers, the trifecta that was created completed the speed, the comfort and the safety factor. And then you end up with a vessel of such fine class. Follow me down to the master cabin. As the owner was an experienced seafarer, he uh, opted to have single bunks instead of a double knowing full well in a sea state is a far more comfortable arrangement. Moving forward in the vessel, we go to the guest cabins, port and starboard. Again, with the experience of the owner, sticking with the single bunks on each side. The guest quarters encompass twin port and starboard cabins, which are finished with Royal Hoisman's legendary craftsmanship, including marble countertop bathrooms. The seven crew cabins, including the captain's cabin, are located fore and aft in the vessel. They are crafted in the same fashion as the interior. The vessel is sailed with nine competent crew. The main galley of Borkham Riff 4 has been designed to accommodate the chef unhindered, as well as the service department working alongside the chef for a continuity of five-star expectations. Borkham Riff 4 has a spacious engine room consisting of a MTU 1060 horsepower uh, main engine. She has four generators, port and starboard, four and a hydraulic generator. She also consists of uh, hydraulic power packs, water makers capable of up to 24 tonnes of water a day, black water treatment plants, 
chiller units for air conditioning, all the necessary firefighting equipment and a variable pitch propeller. Everybody loves the sunshine.